Well here we have what goes in the count as ASBO 43 and as I've mentioned in other clips this bike used to be my own actually and I bought it, it came with the Hitchcock's head on it and I think we had an alloy barrel on it back then as well can't actually remember but uh, other than that it wasn't tuned in any way shape or form I ran around on it here and there for a couple of years and it went okay it had no problem reaching around about 80 miles an hour it, it was no slouch but um, I ended up selling it to the current owner who's had it I think for the last couple of years now and he decided that he wanted it tuned to some of my ASBO specs which involved a full engine strip so we could get the crank out and uh, lighten and rebalance the flywheels which I did and we also shortened the cylinder barrel and fitted the um, American made so called 9 to 1 piston that uh, Hitchcock sells but uh, I would argue the toss about them being 9 to 1 I, I, by my reckoning they were just under 8 to 1 but um, by the time you shorten the cylinder barrel you very very definite, definitely got a minimum of 9 to 1 so that was done and some more work was done on the head to port it even more than uh, Hitchcock's uh, did it and it's running the standard camshafts with the inlet cam retarded by a tooth as we've already seen and it can nip along pretty well uh, it's got a, it's always had ever since I bought it I didn't fit it but someone else must have done an 18 tooth gearbox sprocket which is not something I'd have gone out my way to fit even with doing all this tuning work that's been done to it but I have to say this example takes it very well um, some less so uh, you don't really want to go tuning an engine up and then gearing it to a level where it struggles again and um, there are those who might put a 19 or even a 20 tooth gearbox sprocket on but I'm not one of those I wouldn't do that I remember a 350 which my father still owns actually as it was when he bought it back in the early 1980s and it, it was a redditch one and it had a combination of an engine from a late 17 inch wheeled model so it had I think a I think it was a 19 or even a 20 tooth gearbox sprocket whatever they had because they used to drive the 17 inch wheel with a 46 tooth I think rear sprocket but that engine put into a bike with 19 inch wheels and a 38 tooth rear sprocket I think it would see north of 60 miles an hour in second gear and had a theoretical top speed of about 100 but you'd get up to about 70, 75 in third, change up to top gear and it would just gradually slow down unless you were going downhill. So I don't like over gearing things. But this one, like I say, seems to pull the 18 tooth no problem. Another little thing it's got, it's got a lovely, or I think it's got a lovely bark from that exhaust, that silencer. I fitted that and that is actually, that was the rather rusty but one remaining survivor of the pair that came off the Bob McIntyre Royal Enfield Super Meteor 700 and I just thought when I owned the bike rather than that going in the bin I'd try it on this and see what it sounded like and I fell in love with the sound and the current owner obviously likes it too so there we are we've done all the work on it we fitted the close ratio gearbox as well sorted the clutch out giving it a full engine service with uh, new oil and new filter and everything and gone over a few cylinder head nut and stud issues anything and everything that could be checked and needed a bit of work has had it and it's now ready to go home but point I'd like to make about lightening the crank and retarding the ignition the uh, the cam timing the inlet cam timing is you can get away with a very high compression ratio if you do that without worrying about pinking and um, it's worked out it was almost an accidental discovery the way I do these engines but I'm more than happy with the way things turned out with them and the performance they can achieve and the nice smooth running someone remarked that uh, there was no thump in this engine and it was just a noise well no it's not a bop 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 plodder of an engine anymore it will we've seen it go through the village at 30 miles an hour in top gear but it runs smoothly, it picks up speed quickly and it's happy to rev and move along at the same sort of speed as most of the other traffic on the main roads and perhaps a little bit faster 
occasionally and that's what these are all about uh, they're not the Asbo bullets are not thumpers they're not plodders they can do it but they're much happier in the sort of mid range to upper range of the rev range and uh, I think this one has proved that to be the case and it's ready to go home job done